Greetings, beloved. Hey, it's Dr. Amanda Noel, Twin Flame Alchemist here. And you are wanting to know, what does Twin Flame love feel like? I'm gonna give you the five ways that I see being the most common feelers of Twin Flame love. Now, everybody is different, and so your flavor of how you receive the love and give the love and share the love will be very unique to you. So, feel very special, all right? The first thing is that Twin Flame love feels, ooh, feels like a spa. It feels healing. It feels so nourishing. You feel like you can take the masks off, you can disrobe and feel comfortable in the relationship. And when you do that, you feel this love and light pouring in that's just soul healing. It's called agape in the ancient Greek tradition. Agape means unconditional love. So this Twin Flame unconditional love it is like a healing elixir that gets into your chakras, or as I like to call it, it is like Drano for your chakras. It runs through and it just clears out the blocks. Now, I don't wanna make it sound like it's well oh, easy as pie healing all the time, because that Drano comes through and then the, the hairball gets dislodged and who's the one to clear out that drain? Well, we are, we're like, hey, you made me have this hairball come out of my old drain and I don't like that you did that. So we get all like snappy with our twin flame where we go, you know what? I don't want anybody to know that I have this greasy, oily residue in my drain. I'm gonna go over here and be very, very quiet and run for my twin flame. Cause anybody who knows that my drain's kind of stinky, I don't wanna go there. The second way that you will notice twin flame love activating you is it is intense. When you have your twin flame lover, you feel like more present. It's kind of like vivid, hyper color. You feel more sensitive to them when you are present. Now, that said, sometimes I'll be like writing and then this flow and I'll be like totally in my own little world and then I'll see my twin flame there. He'll come in the room, bring me like a coconut or something. We live here in Bali and I'm like not even feeling him at all because I'm in my own world. So it's really about how present can we be in the moment to ourselves to really feel this intensity. So it can take some time to be ready for this very intense partnership. Now, a lot of times people get confused with intensity with love addiction. And so I really wanna be clear that I'm not saying that, oh, if you have intense drama going on with someone, that's definitely your twin flame. I mean, how many people have gotten divorced because they have intensity? So just having the intensity isn't enough to tell, oh, this is, this is twin flame love. Also, sometimes people, they have amazing sex and passion and they're just like, oh my God, my genitals are doing the twin flame love dance that I heard about on social media that someone shared about, all twin flames have amazing sex. Well, that's actually not true. A lot of times people think someone's their twin flame because initially they have a spark, but it's actually the people that sustain the relationship, that build deep intimacy, that clear and heal wounds. So love addiction and sex addiction that I know, I didn't have like intense sex addiction, but I would often try to get love from men and they were trying to get sex from me and subconsciously they wanted the love too. But a lot of women do this. We get very addicted to the serotonin, to the, bonding chemical oxytocin into the anandamide when we have sex. It is like a cocktail of love chemicals. We feel really high. Men get this, but it's not as strong. They're not designed to have that bond with babies that we have. I have a baby. I'm so high on oxytocin right now. Like my baby's over there and I'm like, mm, I can't wait to feed her. You know, like she's just this nugget. Men, they have those instincts, but it's not as strong. And I know because I'm married to a man and Everybody is different. You know, there's probably a spectrum. That is definitely a, you know, overall guess that I have. Um, you may be a very, very feminine man or a very masculine woman, so of course it depends. And we do have the ability as lovers, lovers, twin flames, soulmates, karmic soulmates, to get a little dramatic, to get a little intense. But the intensity of the twin flame union is really a sustainable intensity where you feel this like really strong pull, magnetism, um, fire. And it's like any fire. If you don't keep the kindling going, it will die. So that's why we twin flames, Jack and I, we have sacred sexual practices. You know, I just had a baby five months ago and everybody has to work on their sex life after birth. Every sexologist will tell you that. I got my degree from Duke University in sexuality studies. 
I know that this is not an easy period of my life in terms of like having hot sex every night. And if we create this space, we can bring back that bond between Jack and I. So it's not just mom and baby. And a lot of us, our parents, they didn't know how to navigate through this. And so people will think, oh, you know, there's no such thing as a twin flame relationship. Once kids are born, I'm just gonna have a bunch of different relationships. I want the intensity all the time from that, but you can create the beautiful intensity that you feel at first with your twin flame. Way number three. Twin flames feel like good old friends. <laughs> when I met Jack, I just was like, well, you're definitely not my twin flame because I'm not trying to impress you all the time. And a lot of my clients say that they're really shocked that they feel so comfortable instantly around their twin flame. They feel like they can take it all off, all the masks and layers, and kick their feet up and just have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation. And that stays throughout the relationship through the good, the bad, and the ugly. What it really feels like to me and my own partnership is that I just trust him. I feel like he's my best friend. And even when we went through our difficult twin flame separation, he called me and said, you know, I need X amount of days. And it was three days to like, you know, not speak. Then let's check in and then let's make a plan. I love you so much. We cried. There was like, you know, deep friendship, deep realness. It wasn't like we were, hating on each other and we ended up getting back together because we could sit and talk and do the work just like friends or family so it's it's more than just you know hot sex all the time or sparkles or higher self like magic it's like the shit gets real but you just you have this like amicability this friendliness this this like brother, sister, friend, love behind all of that. Now, Twin Flame Love feels like a fog lifter. When one of my clients, Tanya, met her Twin Flame at the farmer's market, <laughs> she was picking up her vegetables and this guy walks by. And I had just given her this amazing Twin Flame activation the day before her 30th birthday. She was like kind of, kind of bummed to be alone on her 30th birthday, but she was like, you know what? I feel pretty good. I just feel good in myself. I'm gonna take myself out on a solo date. And so she sees this guy, they make eye contact, and she goes, oh, yummy, 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 yummy. And instantly she felt this like, I feel alone or I feel sad or any of that residue in her mind just like lifted and she was like, I feel loved, but he's gone. He's walked away, right? And so she goes and she's feeling really high. So she she's like, oh, like I want to be around happy people. I don't, I'm, I'm alone. I'm taking myself out on a date. So she sits in this like little area where there's someone playing a guitar and there's this woman there. So she sits down, starts having this amazing conversation with this woman. This woman's like, oh, uh, yeah. Um, and she invites this guy over and she's like, this is my brother. And it was, it was over. They went on a date, they ended up getting married. They have two beautiful kids. Because of that, that fog lifting energy, the Twin Flame Partnership expresses, we can actually be seen and real and raw. However, don't forget that this actually comes from being able to, to fog lift ourselves first. Twin flames are just a mirror, so it's all about lifting the fog. So some people are like, but I'm depressed and you know, I'm not happy in my life or you know, I don't feel radiant. It's so important and you know that you can heal it. Amor Vincent Omnia, there are tools and help that you can get out there or to bring in here to manifest you being the most beautiful, abundant, happy, free person that you know. And I'll be teaching my 11 phase twin flame alchemy formula during two and a half days where you can get these amazing tools. And I'll put the link in the description box below. These tools will help you align at twin flame love. They're really powerful. I wish I could just throw it up on YouTube, but it takes two and a half days just to get through this type of level of work. It's very advanced. Twin flame love is, it is intense, like I said, and it takes doing deep work to shine the light and the rain to, to grow this baby. So um, spots are really limited. I should mention the only 25 women will be attending. It's a very curated group of successful, smart, spiritual, sexy mamas like yourself, perhaps. So check it out. And the fifth way is that Twin Flame Love is an emotional experience. It's, it's an activator to our emotions. It's kind of like still water sitting there and then your Twin Flame comes in and just like 
So it can be a really beautiful dance or it can be a super jiggly, shaky dance, like thunderstorms, but you will definitely be feeling emotions flowing quite frequently. The reason for this is that our twin flame relationship is so healing. So we're bringing in all this healing, love and light, and it shines the light on these old wounds. And if we navigate through these wounds successfully, we can actually bring the light and heal the wounds and we can grow from them. And then we can actually take these, turn these into treasures and share with others how we healed it. We can do this by teaching, speaking, acting as light workers, and just actually embodying the healedness, the wholeness is a gift to the world. People don't even have to know anything about you. You don't have to speak any words. This energetic shift as a healer, as a healed whole mate, will be a huge activator for others around you. Even people that you never may speak to and see, it spreads love and light into the grids of the planet. Unfortunately, a lot of people don't know how to navigate through their wounds, especially the one that we call the sacred wound. So the sacred wound is our, in essence, our core wound, something that impacts all areas of our lives, financial, our health, our you know well-being, our relationships. Our sacred wound is something that usually stems from an early childhood experience, um, often present from our past lives. And it manifests in often women that come to me say that, you know, the same thing keeps happening. I keep dating different people and I get the same result. It's like the same behavior from this guy. And actually that's the energetic reflection of her consciousness that is coming from the sacred wound. So we can heal the sacred wound and we want to do that. We need to do that actually as twin flames. In order to call in and keep a twin flame relationship, we have to be aware of what our sacred wound is and we have to alchemize it from that lead into gold so that we can call in our partner from our highest shiniest light. This work is so deep and that's why I have created a two and a half day experience with my twin flame, Jack and we are gathering a group of 25 women. This is a very curated group of committed spiritual, smart spiritual women like yourself perhaps, if you're a woman, <laughs> who are ready to call in their life partner and really ground this. And women who are refusing to settle for less for, you know, so many women have the excuses of like, I don't know why I keep having this thing happen or the person that I'm you know, wanting, doesn't want to be with me, or they're not ready, or there's a runner chaser thing, or all this confusion. Well, that can all end when we take responsibility for ourselves and we have the right tools and systems. So I have a 12 step formula. It's actually called the 11 phases of twin flame alchemy because there's a zero step that we start with that works through all of your chakras. It works through the 12 phases in astrology. It connects also with the 12 tarot cards and the 12 sephirot on the tree of life and the Kabbalah. So it's an ancient system. I didn't come up with all of it myself, but I've blended these systems and try my best to, to resurrect them from the mystery schools, as well as bringing in my background as a certified life coach, as a PhD transpersonal counselor. And I'm gonna give you everything that I can during two and a half days to help you align with your twin flame. And we're going to clear out your sacred wound trickster. We're gonna help you understand what it is and to start to clear it out. So this is gonna be an amazing event. I'm gonna put the link in the description box below. If you feel a resonance with this, definitely check it out. I hope to see you there. And know that twin flame love is something that is absolutely available for you. It is a gift when we alchemize our stuff into twin flame love because it gives permission to others that they can have twin flame love. And it's very magnetic and radiant. When we are twin flame lovers, whether we have met our twin flame yet, when we activate as those twin flame queens or kings, our twin flame through the law of attraction starts to mirror that within ourselves. So it's time to turn your love on, kindle those flames, and I will see you in the next video.